Hello, welcome back. It's about to get crazy up in here. Today we're doing a classic, an absolute banger of a classic in the four corners, if you can call them corners on this circle. The four quadrants. Yes, yes, quadrants. The four quadrants, there will be four kingdoms. And every 25 years, 25-ish years, we'll be grabbing the king from each four kingdoms to make them fight in the king's arena. The winner of the arena gets to spin the wheel of good times and decide which good time they'll be getting. Will it be something cool like Mage Slayer perhaps? Boy, wouldn't that be something. So let's get this show on the road here. Let's go ahead and pick a biome. Let's get a little quirky today and do lemon biome because who, who cares? It doesn't matter as long as everyone's the same biome. Heck, we could do corrupted biome if we wanted, but that would be an absolute disaster. Say it with me, guys. Absolute disaster. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and throw some, I don't know, flowers. What the heck? Why not? Maybe some trees. Who cares? There you go. Okay. Let's go ahead and just put some uh, fruit bushes around the edges. Check our rules here. Rebellion's off. Disaster's off. Everything else looks good. So the first time we did this, we did dwarves. And the second time we did this, we did elves. So we have to do it yet with the humans and the orcs. I think we're going to do orcs today because we've been kind of leaving them out. Yeah, the orcs have been kind of OP, so we've been kind of skipping over them for the uh, multi-kingdom videos but today just orcs let's give them a chance to uh be on screen oh ho, ho, ho. that's against the rules foul play can't have that anyone else want to defy me really try it i dare you go ahead start your own kingdom see what happens see what happens all i want to do is change the colors here because this one's too similar to that one let's go like that green can't really see them now orange okay that's good enough for me we got tekur zokep of death oak Brothers, strong agas. Agas? I don't freaking know. What do I look like, an orc? Okay, what are we doing on timelines here? We got four years. Let's go ahead and bump up the jam a little bit here. Also, I just realized this. Honestly, I just realized this. The timing of this video is maybe a little bit weird. It shouldn't be, uh, but maybe it is because, you know, the Queen of England just passed away and now England's got a king now and now we're over here doing uh, kings fighting to the death in glorious combat. It's just a coincidence, okay? It's just a coincidence. Uh, maybe kings were on my mind, you know? I was thinking about kings. Uh, I got the king size Kit Kat bar and I was thinking, you know, it sounds like a good video idea. King's arena, let's do that again. Everybody loves that video. It's fun to do. I like game shows. I like people competing. And you know what? What better competition than four sweaty, grown men fighting to the death in a circular arena with their bare hands? Let's make these guys red. Let's call them red. Let's call these guys purple. Let's call these guys orange. Because I don't want it to be confusing with me, like, referring to these kingdoms all the time. I want you guys to know who I'm talking about. Okay, so the orange king. The king of the orange. Or days. Or Ordaze. He loves burgers. 31 years old. He's got no unique traits. He's got a stick, though. Pretty cool. Gotta love it. And he's a diplomatic man. Four kids. So sad to see him go. Not that I don't believe in him, but I don't know if being a diplomat's gonna help you in the arena, my guy. Okay. Are you the king? We got Ooze. Paranoid. Probably good. Militaristic. That'll help you out in the arena. Happy. Good for you. And then over here, we've got Eep or Epe. Ooh. Perfect wood stick and bloodlust. Militaristic. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. Purple's gonna take this W for sure. At least for the first battle. Okay. For blue, we got Onar. He's got a stick as well. Not as good as the other guy's stick, but you know what? Uh, militaristic as well. Okay. So all three of these people are militaristic, but the orange people are diplomatic. Perplexing one might say. Okay, we're at year 20. We'll give them five more years. Well, now four more years, and then we'll have them fight to the death. Now, granted, this map's actually a lot smaller than I want it to be, so this is gonna probably go pretty quickly. So let's just go ahead and do every 20 years, because otherwise this is gonna be, we're not gonna get as many battles as I want. I wanna get as many battles as possible, but I also don't wanna have to fast forward ever either. So we want it to be small, but not too small. There we go. We got orange guy, red. Oh, <laughs> Lemon Man gets to participate. Okay, we got purple. There you go. And blue. Okay, let's just... Oh, another Lemon Guy. We're going to put them up here. They're the referees. They're going to make sure everyone fights fair. Fights to the death fair, you know? Um, let's just take a little inventory here of how the kingdoms are doing. Purple's in last, red's in first, but everyone's pretty close. Everyone has branched off into additional villages. We got blue's second colony over here, orange's second colony over here, and then looks like red set one up over here, and purple did one over here. So they're all pretty even. So keep that in mind because one of these kingdoms is going to win this fight and get a little happy fun time trait. 
that's gonna help them along. So let's go ahead and lower the speed a little bit down to a good old crispy crispy times three. And now here's the tricky part because none of these kingdoms are at war. In order to get them to fight, we gotta give them all madness. So we'll, we'll return the, the leader to their rightful home, but uh, for now, actually that's not gonna work for these guys because then they're actually gonna get in the way of the fight. Sorry guys, you can watch from outside. There you go. Oh man, paid all that money for front row tickets for nothing. Let's do this thing. Make it happen. Oh, oh, couple hits over here. Oh, our, our champion's down. Okay. Okay, so we got Orange over here, Ordaz, and uh, Onar of Blue over here. He's the one that has the legendary... Oh, this is a different stick now. He got a better stick. What, how's your stick? Oh, they both have legendary sticks. Who's it gonna be? Oh, Blue Team is the winner. Good for you. Proud of you. Okay, let's take that away. I think if we return him, I think he'll rejoin. Okay, good. Um, let's go ahead and give him a favorite so that we can remember him forever until he dies of old age in like 40 to 50 years. Congratulations, Onar. You get to spin the Wheel of Happy Fun Times. For your kingdom, what's it gonna be? Eagle-eyed would be kind of weak for them. Fast is not that big of a banger trait either, but you know what? It will help them. So let's go ahead and give them fast. Good for you guys. You deserve it. Be fast. Because Onar was fast to kill those innocent people and uh, he should be rewarded as such. Okay, so keep note, they are not in the lead. They're down by three, but uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, that won't matter pretty soon here. I think last time there was one kingdom that was doing really well, and I think they won like two or three battles in a row, and so they just steamrolled everyone last time. So this time I'm hoping that like the underdog king is the one that wins because it makes it much more interesting. I want to see a comeback story. I want to see the small guy become the big guy. We got purple in last place. We're doing the battles every 20 years, so we're at year 28, so we're almost halfway to the next battle already. Still no wars have been declared. That's good news. Or is it? Might be good of them. Oh, that looked like a little uh, little move there, huh? Pretty soon here, they're gonna run out of land, and so they're gonna have to start fighting each other for land, so that's, that's just a moment away. We got blue still in second place, just trailing barely behind red, and then orange and purple staying pretty even. This map is pretty uniform. I would say everyone's starting areas were pretty dang equal. So, uh, oh, red is declared war on blue, blue is declared war on purple. The wars have begun, and orange is the only one not in conflict. Okay, yeah, it looks like blue got a little greedy setting up camp over here. Oh, blue is now at war with orange. Okay, hold on. We got to turn on angry villagers. I forgot about that. Otherwise, the wars go way too quick. Okay, blue swapped for this side. Oh, blue, our boys. Our blue kingdom arena winners getting slapped down so quickly. They spread out a little bit too much. Hang in there for one more year so that you can fight in the arena. Okay, boom. Everyone stop. Okay, it's time for the king's arena. Okay, let's go ahead and meet the contestants here. Let's slow it down a bit. Down to a nice crispy three times. We've got from orange team. Dezoze with a nice stick. He's wise, he got a golden tooth, militaristic. Azog, look at these traits, man. He's strong, eagle-eyed, bloodlust, one eye. That's okay. Militaristic, nice stick, nice friend. We got A's, bloodlust again, greedy, paranoid, militaristic. Okay. From blue, we got Erg Aza. He's got fast like we gifted him. Eagle-eyed, honest. Okay, administrator, interesting. See, this guy's gotta pull out a win for his dying kingdom over here. I think they're all at war. Okay, no, we do have to do madness still because some of them are not at war. Madness, 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 madness. Who do we want to win here? Actually, let's give it. Let's give our blue guy a star. Boom, he might be the first one to go down. Nope, not actually. You guys better hurry up. I don't wanna miss the actual war. Oh, blue kingdom got killed. Okay, well, he's fighting for nothing. He better not win. Okay. Okay, no, he's not, that's not gonna be a risk. Blue Kingdom's gone. Let's go ahead and move you guys a little closer here. Okay, so we have Azog of red and Dazaz of orange. Okay, orange wins, and they get a nice little spin of the wheel. They're currently in the lead right now, but not by that much. So let's just hope they don't get anything too crazy good, because otherwise it'll be too easy for them. But I don't know. I kind of like orange. Maybe maybe they deserve a win. Okay, Mage Slayer is very strong, but they are at war with both enemy kingdoms, so maybe it'll be too much for them to handle. Congratulations on your amazing win, my friends. Very elegant of you. Let's go ahead and take Madness off of you and send you uh, home. There you go. Congratulations. Where did you go? Let's give you a little little star there so we can remember you. Congratulations. 58 years old and five kills. 
Makes me proud to see my elders getting out there and getting stuff done, you know? Okay, looks like they just lost this region. Um, oh, purple declared war on orange. If they were taking this, they were unable to take it. And then in the meantime, red took this. Sheesh. Okay, we're six years into the next cycle. Can orange take this back? Can they? They need to. Use that mage slayer trait, my friends. Okay, red is in the lead. Kind of unexpected. Well, not unexpected. They were in the lead earlier, but they haven't won the arena yet. Okay, they just lost their last region. Orange is destroyed. Bummer, dude. We're halfway to the next fight and it's the two kingdoms that don't have a trait right now and look at that they just made peace okay it's like they teamed up against the king's arena winners out of spite and now they're like all right we're good why do we need to fight we are not so different red purple what is there not to like for without purple there can be no red wait no that's not true for without red, there could be no purple. That makes more sense. Okay, let's go ahead and bump up the speed again here. Five more years of this crap. And then we get to see them fight again in the King's Arena. Boom, you're 60. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for, the fight of the century. Entering into the ring, we have Ezig, Paranoid, Wise, Golden Tooth, Militaristic, likes tea all right and on the other side of the ring we've got arena who is genius deceitful diplomat though happy and loves berries hey you know what me too loving berries not happy not happy at all but i love berries okay here we go madness madness because you guys are at peace we got red on left purple on right let's see place your bets now let's go ahead and turn the speed down so we can actually enjoy this see what you got oh no there's no leaving okay whoa 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 purple takes the win and i'm glad about that because they need a little bit of help good for you you beat that old man down with a stick like you'd done it before what do you get on the wheel of happy fun times genius would be really big for them wow okay genius it is your guys' brains are about to grow three sizes boom all right let's see how that helps them now if red was smart which they're not it's purple that's smart but if red was smart they would declare war right now and crush them while they're weak because things are gonna start looking a little bit worse and worse for them as time goes on because genius makes them advance technology a lot faster and just progress faster as a culture and because of that it will ultimately lead to them populating faster most likely so uh, what happened here huh did that just explode on its own something you guys want to tell me they're both kind of out of land red's population has been stuck at 320 for a long time oh look at that 319 and same over here 273 they're like out of land but if purple advances their i don't know home technology or something where's their where's their culture dak 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 okay so they've only got house tier two but if they can get oh baby if they can get house tier three ho ho sheesh it's over my guy also what is going on here their houses are exploding or they're renovating i don't know okay where are we at on the timeline here 72 we got eight more years until the next duel now if purple can win again and get another trait say like a combat trait they could turn this thing around sure they're down by 50 population right now and that is nothing to sneeze at and uh, their kingdom's a little bit disconnected like red kind of owns this whole section and purple's kind of split into like this awkward village that ain't gonna last long as soon as red declares war this thing is gonna go bye bye in an instant so purple does need some help also they just lost like 20 population right there did you see that 250 now they're down by 70 huh okay two more years hang in there don't declare war yet or do it so i don't have to give them madness again 240 another imploding house okay who cares it is time to fight in the king's arena. What? You heard about the king's arena already? How did you know about the king's arena? Purple over here and red. I actually like it a lot better with just two. It makes it a little more personal. It makes it a little more fun. Sorry to those kingdoms that got eliminated so quick, but you know what? It had to happen for the sake of entertainment. On the left side of the arena for red team, we've got Japara, who has a legendary bow called the Wretched Heartbeat. Holy smokes, that's awesome. Militaristic, likes meat, bloodlust, giant, and wise. 345 health. This is going to be a tough, tough person to bring down. And up against them, on the purple side, we've got Akaro, who has hella, hella traits. Wow. Okay. Fat, bloodlust, gluttonous, deceitful, fast, mage slayer, attractive, weak, and genius. I would say, yeah, it's a lot of traits, but half of them are pretty bad, or some of them are bad. Militaristic, legendary stick, perfect wood stick, 
Cool. I believe it. I'll take your word for it. 319 health. So this person is a little bit weaker because they literally have weak, um, but they've got some good stuff going on. So let's see what happens here. It's the range of the bow that makes me think this isn't going to go very well. All right, let's go ahead and make it happen. Make it happen. You got to push, bro. You got to get in there. Charge before it's too late. Oh, red just declared war on purple right now. Make it happen. Oh, sneak attack. Oh, the range. He's got like a bunch of hits in a row. Oh, yeah. To be expected. The bow wins. Okay, so red takes the win on that one. That's going to be a doozy for uh, purple. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We got to get rid of your madness first. My bad. Otherwise, they'll kill you as soon as you get home. There you go. Okay. Well, I don't think red really needs the help necessarily. Uh, but let's go ahead and give them Mage Slayer. Sure, why not? Let's just give them one of the strongest combat traits in the game. Maybe purple will turn it around. Who knows? That's a joke, my friends. That's a joke. There's no way. Purple fought Valiant they really really hung in there although whoa 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 hold up what if 100 90 oh no if they take this oh no 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 oh sheesh yeah mage slayer is just that's gonna be that push they needed mage slayers versus geniuses mage slayers take the win boom that's it officially done red team wins good for them next time i think i'll do one size bigger on the map i like how quickly this goes but i think i would like it to be one maybe just one size bigger you know but i also do like that this video is supposed to feel different than my other ones the other ones are all about these long massive kingdom wars but this one is all about just like the quick quick fight you know so i do like it to be small and compact and quick like this it makes the commentary more fun for me too where there's always something happening but maybe next time we'll bump it up by one size and it will be time for the humans to fight because we've now done elves dwarves and orcs so humans are next so uh yeah thanks for watching guys let me know your ideas down below uh maybe subscribe if you haven't we're at like 150 something k which is crazy i feel like i just got my silver play button and now i'm like i mean you don't get an award for 200k but you know i feel like i'm on my way there so appreciate you guys i've been uh, absolutely mind blown by the amount of love this channel's gotten and uh, i'm gonna keep these videos coming so thanks for watching i appreciate you for being here and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time Mm, peace. Mm, bye.